Hi, Robert. Uh, there has been a lot of good news in this conference. Uh, if you should summarize, what is the most interesting uh, thing happening now? Well, it's, it's difficult because you're right. There are so many uh, good things going on and a wonderful opportunity after such a long period of not being together to see the developments um, and to have a chance to see old friends like, like you. Uh, so I'm sure that the thing that the uh, families are most interested in are the things that are closest in, in the clinic. And we had a session this morning uh, demonstrating not only a large number of clinical trials, well-designed, very different approaches, both in terms of the mechanism of action as well as the modality, and all of them... Just to ask you, yeah, what is the difference between the action and modality. Yeah, so the mechanism of action is a fancy way of saying, you know, what is it in the body that the drug is trying to do? And then the modality is what kind of drug is it? Is it a pill that you take by mouth? Is it injection in the spine? And the different kinds of compounds that uh, drug hunters try to discover. What, 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 is the, what is the main focus now? We understand much more. Mm -hmm. How much do we understand uh, what's going on in the brain when you're getting uh, and it's starting this disease. Yeah, so uh, the most precious information for those of us trying to develop therapies is information we learn from human clinical trials. And so even the failures are very important for us because they tell us what we need to do differently the next time we approach uh, the problem. So we've had a few failures, but what we've learned so far is that Huntington lowering is still a very viable mechanism of action. And that means viable uh, mechanism? <laughs> Huntington lowering is something that we still need to pursue. We still need to find a safe way of lowering down the amount of protein that's made by the bad gene. And do you think that will be possible in two, three, four years? I, I absolutely think uh, we'll, we'll get an answer. And I hope that our answer is even a glimmer of efficacy, a glimmer of improvement. Because once we have that, then it will be very um, much more straightforward for us to figure out how to make that whisper into a scream, uh, that, that initial promise in, into an approved drug. And, and and do you think that the future will bring us one drug? Or if you are an HD person, will you take a cocktail of drugs? Yeah. Well, I, uh, when you make a cocktail, you need to know what the ingredients are. Yeah. So it may very well be that eventually uh, we're going to combine things together. But what we need to do is understand what those pieces and parts that we want to mix together are. There has to be a rationale for it. So in the beginning, um, as we see, we're going to see individual drugs being uh, put through clinical trials. Once we have an idea of which one of these might work and whether or not there's a rationale for combining them, yes, I think eventually we will have uh, combination therapies that try and treat the whole disease so that people can lead improved lives. And, and to make this very, very uh, simple, mm -hmm. um, when you are looking, you have been in this field for seven, eight, 10 years, 20, 10, 20 years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the progress? Uh, you start here and then it's go faster and faster, or you start here and it's go slower and slower? Well, b both interesting, in interesting way of looking at it. So on, on the one hand, um, first of all, the amount of effort is, is really staggering. Uh, there are now over 50 companies that are working in some way, shape, or form on developing therapies. 50? 50. Okay. When I started, there were zero. Uh, so this is very encouraging. In the beginning, um, things often go more quickly, but they often fail. What we see is that things slow down once they get to the clinic because we have to be very careful when we're dealing with human subjects. And invariably, you know, the effects that we're looking for, the beneficial effects, take time before they actually uh, are, are visible. So um, there are, it's a combination of many shots on goal, of things going uh, more quickly and in parallel in the beginning, and then slowing down so that we can do the careful job of safely evaluating these drugs once they get into people. But you said it's 50. It's, it's a lot of them out there now. Yeah. Are we shooting with a hail 
or are we shooting with one bullet? Well, I, I, I think uh, some, somewhere in between. So it's not an, an irrational shotgun of let's throw something against the wall and see if it sticks. On the other hand, there's an expression in, in English, uh, I wouldn't want a one trick pony where everything is trying to do the same thing. We need a diversity of approaches and that's exactly the sweet spot that we picked. And what we have learned during this conference, it's ongoing. It's ongoing. And, you know, as, as I always uh, say, especially when um, I know that these messages will, will reach the families, maintain your hope, uh, maintain your participation. Uh, many, many, most of the things that we heard about today that are the most impactful required your time, your participation, your willingness to go and uh, enroll in these trials to give your blood, to give uh, your, your input. And without that, uh, there's, there's no way we can be successful. And as drug hunters, we're infinitely appreciative that, that you're willing to do that. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too.